Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is LJ and in today's video I'm going to be testing out some new Janice Carroll cosmetics that I received in the post. Janice Carroll Cosmetics is a beauty brand based here in Toronto and she was a makeup artist and then she decided to come out with her own line. First I'm going to be trying on the All Day Tinted Moisturiser. I just did a little swatch here in my hand so you can see the consistency. So you can see there's quite a good tint in there and there's lots of moisture in the product. I'm going to pop that on my face all over. So these products are more mineral based and they are all paraben free which if you follow my blog you'll know that I'm always trying to avoid parabens because they have been like linked to cancerous cells. Nothing has been 100% proven yet but you know if you can avoid it better. Everything is 100% cruelty free. Tinted moisturizer has hyaluronic acid in it. It also has SPF so it's going to protect your skin from the sun. There's a lot of vitamins in the ingredients including vitamin C and vitamin E which are great for the skin. It feels nice and moist, very very light tint if any at all. So you can see there's a nice radiant glow to my skin. Next I'm going to be using the Jewel foundation. So this is a really handy compact. You have your product on this side and you get a little mirror. Oop. And then underneath for on the go you have a little sponge in here and you get all the information on the product in here. So I have the shade 31. It's mineral, paraben free, oil free and it's going to provide a full coverage, the HD coverage, the so high definition coverage. So it claims on the website that's going to be good for TV. So let's see. I'm going to use one side doing the sponge and I'll see if I'll use a brush for the other side. I have one side applied to my face, so this is without any foundation and this is with the foundation on. I have shade 31 and you can probably tell that it's a little bit too dark for my skin. But I'm just going to keep going with the application anyway and see how it wears on the skin. So for the other side I'm just going to use a brush. I have the foundation applied on this side now with a brush and you can see that this is a little bit more sheer. So this side is much more full coverage with sponge. The brush is going to give you more of a light finish. I'm just going to match that up now by applying a little bit more with sponge. Okay, that's the foundation applied. I've never actually owned a powder, fit, a pressed powder foundation before. But I like the finish that it gives. It gives a very matte finish. Glow Finish Illuminator. So I feel like that's more of a bronzer, highlighter kind of a thing. So I'm just going to warm up my contour. I don't need to warm up my face, obviously, because it's too dark already. That powder went on really nicely. It was really nice and smooth. It's really finely milled. It's a baked product. It's just really, really beautiful. Lots of powder kicked back, but that's fine. And it just glided onto the face. And as you can see, it just keeps the glowiness on the skin. I have that tinted moisturizer coming through now so it's giving me more of a glow but it's definitely a bad color match for me. Oh well. Okay I'm gonna go pop on some eyebrows and finish up the rest of my face. I don't have any blushes or any other products that I can do for the face with Janice Carroll so I will be right back. Okay I'm back. I have the rest of my face done and please don't mind my hair. I'm gonna do it afterwards. I am now gonna move on to eyes. So I got this baked eyeshadow, so you can see that there's three in there. I've already swatched all of these products because I've taken photos for the blog. So I'm going to use this all over my lid. I'm first going to go into the middle shade, the gold one. Then I'm going to blend that out with the lightest shade here in the trio, just around the edges. That's a really lovely color combination. If you want it to look super shiny, it's best to apply it with the finger and you can blend out with the brush. And this is a great color for blue or green eyes. As you can see, the color is starting to pop through. I got sent two of the felt tip um, eyeliners. So I have a cobalt blue and a black, which is called Onyx. Onyx. So you can see the felt tip liner is a nice, it's not too long, it's not too thin, 
like a good shape. I'm thinking of doing the blue just to be a little bit edgy so I might do a blue thick line and then like a really tight line with the black just to make sure that the lashes look a little bit longer. I'm just going to shake it first. Again this is the first impression using these products so I haven't used these yet so let's hope for the best. So far so good, so I've done quite a dramatic blue wing. I'm just gonna go tight line my lashes now with the black. Those eyeliners are really, really nice. So this, again, is the first impression, but I will wear the eyeliners and do like a full blog post review and report back. So once I have that up, I'll update you guys in the comments. Next, I'm gonna pop on the mascara. I did do a little bit of white in my waterline, just to brighten up the look a little bit. And I'm going to first curl my lashes. I'm going to do one side first so we can see the difference. I am wearing a thick line so you might not see my lashes very well, but let's see. So this is what the wand looks like. So it's your fairly basic wand. So you can see it's a very natural looking mascara. That's one coat. I'm just going to leave that dry in now for a few seconds, not fully dry, and then I'm going to apply the second coat. The second coat definitely gave them a little bit more volume and a little bit more length. And you can see in comparison to no mascara and mascara. Okay, next I'm going to move on to lips. So I got quite a few lip products here. So first I'm going to do a look with the more neutral tones. This is a lip liner in Cappuccino, waterproof lip liner. And you get one side is a retractable product and then on the other side you have a lip brush. So it's nice packaging. I'm going to line my lips and then pop on Musessa lipstick. So this is the shade Musessa. Musessa. So it's like a golden bronzy color. These lipsticks are full of really lovely moisturizing ingredients. This goes so well with my eyeshadow. They have like vitamin A and E, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, like they just feel, mm, feel really nice and moisturizing. They're like a thick consist, oh they're lovely. Yeah, I really like that consistency of the lipstick. It's really nice. So that is Musessa with Cappuccino Lip Liner. So if I wanted to be a bronze goddess during the summer, this lip would be beautiful. I'm gonna try on one of their liquid lipsticks now. So they have, Danis has done some new packaging for the matte liquid lips. So it now comes in this kind of, well you have the option of doing the doe foot or this kind of applicator with a clicky pen. So you just push it up to click it and then the product comes out. These smell delicious and this is in the shade 100. That is an absolutely gorgeous pink. It dries down to a matte. It dries really quickly but I can still feel the moisture on my lips. I'm sure after a few minutes it will dry down absolutely completely. I also got the shade Pinky Coral, which is literally a pinky coral. So this is the other applicator that I was talking about. So it's more of a double-sided flattened doe foot applicator. I'm just gonna take this one off and try on the coral lip. Wow, I love this color, it's amazing. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be gorgeous for the summer, spring, summer. This shade was a little bit streakier to apply because of the color that it is. It's kind of one of those colors that is a little bit more difficult, but we got there in the end. If you ever do find your lipstick, liquid lipsticks are streaky upon applying, just like, I didn't have to do it with this one, but if you just dab your lips, it will just even out the streakiness. Yeah, both applicators are really, really nice, but I do prefer the new ones with the clicky pen. They're really, really good. The lipsticks retail for 20 and then the matte liquid lipsticks retail for 22 Canadian dollars. So everything I used on my face can be purchased on the Janice Carl Cosmetics website. I'll link everything down below. Let's do a little roundup of all the products that I have on my face. So unfortunately, this, the foundation is a lot 
too dark for my skin but it is actually looking really really nice it looks flawless on skin really it's just such a shame that it's the wrong color I am in love with this product, this bronzing illuminator. It just really warmed up my skin, made it still look really nice and glowy. Now I did apply some more highlighter and a little bit of blush. I love the lipstick. The lipstick went really, really on nice, really nicely and thick and just felt like it was really hydrating on the lips. The eyeliners are amazing and the baked eyeshadow was really nice as well. I do recommend applying that with your finger because it's more of a pearl finish and you want that to show up on the eyelid. So use your finger, it will show up a little bit better. Yeah, but the eyeliners went on really, really nicely. Again, I'll do like a full review on blog posts, updates, so I'll wear these products for a little while more. So that is it for testing out Janice Carroll Cosmetics. This was a full first impressions video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see more from me, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.